So here I am testing out my new Blue 70 Helix with some slightly shorter legs and some custom print in my Endless Pools fast lane. And straight away I had to speed up the machine to what I normally swim in because it's so much quicker in a good wetsuit. Firstly, I just want to point out some sighting tips. Now, when you're sighting at this level with this technique, you want to make sure that as soon as you put your head back down, you give a good couple of kicks to get your feet and bum back out of the water. So as you go, before you take a breath, as you're catching, lift your head up. As the hand comes through, then you turn your head, grab your breath on the side and get your head straight back down low. So it gets your feet and your bum back up high and gets you more hydrodynamic as quick as possible and back into a good rhythm. You can see on my right hand and left hand, but my right hand's worse. I'm dropping my thumb into the water too soon and then I'm actually dropping my wrist a bit, especially when I breeze to the left. I drop my wrist and push against the water. I'm not real happy about that, but everything else I'm pretty happy with and in, you know, it's great for me to have a, a look back and critique the way that I'm swimming, having a bit of fun against the fast lane. And when you're swimming against the fast lane, the water's coming at you so quick that I think it makes me look a bit lower in the water than I normally would be if I were wearing a wetsuit against um, and not against a hard current. So straight on, I think one of the points about my stroke is that I don't cross over in the middle. Um, so when my hands enter, they're still sort of in line with where my shoulders are. So you want to try and work on that yourself. And now here you can see that right hand when I breathe to the left, I really drop that wrist and I push against the water and my hand just touches the surface of the water. And that's slowing me down by my hand feeling the water. I'd rather just glide straight through it, not feel it, and then just catch. And when you do catch, bend the wrist, try and keep the, the uh, fingertips pointed down towards the bottom of the pool all the way through your catch. So the first thing you do is bend the wrist a bit, then your shoulder comes through, your elbow bends as your hand drops, and then really the power of where your catch is from that sort of um, five, five o'clock and right through to nine o'clock. And so when you're right through to nine o'clock, you really want to be pushing the water away from you out the back. It's really important that you catch from that early position, about 4.30, 5 o'clock, really a lot of power, and then you push right past your hip, as I was doing there. Front on, you can really see that my hands don't cross over. They're in line with my shoulders. It just makes it a lot more streamlined, a lot more power out wider rather than crossed over and um, you know everybody's got a different rhythm and a different way of swimming but I encourage you to try and do the exaggeration of my stroke do some really long um, strokes and so that you can really feel and practice doing that sort of swimming short go back to your other quicker shorter strokes maybe but you know try catch up try doing something longer and uh, you know just do it in your own time take some time out not in a squad and uh, just relax and work on your technique remote control makes it very easy to switch on and off and change the speed thanks for watching